I have been so inspired today, literally just listening to the story, to the level of faith, Joyce, that you've had, to the fact that you're a miracle. I was like, I gotta hug him. I wanna hug a miracle. Uh, see if it's real. Yeah. <laughs> and then just the, the the commitment to pray. So we're gonna talk about that, but uh, I'll start with you as well, Joyce. Um, let's uh, walk us down that road of faith. You know, I was talking to um, someone else just about the, the mother instinct, right? To fight for yes. her cub, to fight for her child. Um, talk to us about what rised up in you. I know you said you were raised to believe a certain way. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that and why you were compelled to lay hands on your son and pray him back to life. Oh, I've seen this all my life, how God can come in and heal and take care of things. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, believing that it can happen. But yeah. also, when you're losing something that you feel like is God's gift to you, mm -hmm. it puts it to another level where you're going to go in and do whatever and ask God to do what he says he can do. Mm -hmm. And it isn't like God can't do this. It's will you, you know, when you're asking, do you believe that this will happen? And so I was in my battle garb and mm -hmm. we were going to, this was going to go down, <laughs> you know, yes. and I wasn't quitting mm -hmm. until that happened. Wow. Yeah. So John, I'll ask you now. You know, I know uh, in the book as well, you guys explore just kind of you growing up as, so, as a child who was adopted and, you know, the feelings that you get of feeling rejected or whatever it is that you battled with. And now hearing your mom talk about you in this way, you're her miracle child. Now beyond your mom, because, you know, everybody's mom says that about <laughs> them. But beyond that, like, you are a miracle. And the world will, will say that and, and, and share that. Tell us. Just about now, how do you feel about your journey and your life and, and, and where you're at? Uh, I'm still, you know, searching for answers, mm -hmm. you know, wanting, waiting and praying, you know, where is God going to lead me yeah. in so-and-so years. But uh, for now, I'm, I'm just excited to be here, you know, mm -hmm. being able to share our story and, you know, to give God all the glory. Mm -hmm. I mean, from the impossible to now breakthrough, it's just... It's amazing to see how God has placed each puzzle piece where it needs to be. Yeah. Mm. And you said you, we were talking off camera, you want to be a pastor. And even that, because you know, we think, well, yeah, because his mom prayed and because God did this miracle, so that's probably why he feels like I'll have to surrender my life to God in this way. But you said, no, I felt called to this. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll talk to the actual pastor here. <laughs> yeah. I was just at youth camp, and you know, I got at, at a youth camp and you know I just thought it was going to be a summer you know Christian high people always say that but you know me constantly fighting God and him just saying keep listening to me just pay attention mm -hmm. just walk where I need you to walk and then finally after I started to realize that you know the earthly idols that I was chasing are coming to an end it's time to be chasing towards the heavenly gold and wow. You know, him just calling me into ministry, I'm, I'm truly just excited to see where he's going to take me. I can't wait. And you know what? I heard the young actor who's playing you, how he talks about you. Yeah, he's going to be a pastor now, too. Yeah. Like, it's beautiful. You're being a witness even to that young actor. And I oh, he's, that. I'm, I'm truly I uh, blessed to know Marcel. Yes. He's a great kid. Amen. So, Pastor Jason, yeah. you, you labored with this family through this entire crisis to the miracle. Um, you know, I, my husband is, is a pastor and just recently, and, and you know, I think about, it's hard sometimes because you'll stand by people and you'll, you'll see that their prayers don't get answered. Right. So before you knew that God was going to answer this prayer, you decided to stand with this family. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think that prayers are always answered. Mm. They're always answered. It may not be the answer that we want. That's good. And, you know, one of the things we've talked a lot about, people ask us, you know, what if John would have died? You know, what if, uh, what if you had the same kind of faith? And our answer has been yes, because, you know, in the reality, it's incredible that John lived. But any miracle in the Bible, Lazarus isn't still alive. We're all going to die at some point. Yeah. And I think it's reframing what our perspective of a miracle mm. and God's healing is. Because if a person goes to heaven, stands before the throne, and they're healed, it's the same as, it's a miraculous mm -hmm. healing. Yeah. And so that's something that I've always tried to educate people around me is, listen, God always heals. There's always a purpose. God always answers your prayers. May not be how we want them answered, mm -hmm. but he'll answer them the best way. And I think we can look back over life and go, man, God, I could see why you moved the way you did and did what you said you were gonna do. But when we pray, I think it's so important that we say, God, I'm gonna pray and then trust you with the outcome. Mm -hmm. It's not, God, you need to do this, and here's how the outcome needs to be. Because yeah. that's where we do get disappointed, yeah. you know. 
yeah, you're right. Joyce, I'll ask you, this is the last question, and maybe you guys can just add your, um, how you feel about it, but you're noticeably emotional about it all, and and it's beautiful, because it's it's what, I think it's how we all feel, and we just see it in your heart. Um, what are you, what are you hoping uh, that comes out of this, the story being immortalized in this way? Well, the movie has been changed the name from what we originally started to break through, but I think that kind of talks about, you know, how I feel about this. There was a breakthrough that happened that day, and God, it, and now is taking it, and it's just taking it worldwide. Mm -hmm. Now, something I never dreamed, but I hope people walk out of this knowing that there is hope. Yes, amen. When everything seems hopeless, you can't look at your circumstances because that will lead you in a different direction. But if you hang on to hope, God's there. And I think that's what the world is looking for now is hope. And I Breakthrough will do, do that for you. I hope that's what people take away from this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody else want to add? I would agree. I mean, my prayer is that people will watch it and just walk out of Breakthrough with so much hope. Like to walk out and just go, you know what, I can believe God for the impossible. I can, I know that God will answer my prayers because it's not a, just a one-time thing. I no. mean, like I really sense that this is a new season of miracles and mm. even the body of Christ. And, mm. you know, I think my, also my hope is that people would find Jesus and a loving, mm. kind Jesus who cares so much about them. Mm. Love it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.